Good evening, friends. Welcome to Two Dudes, One Review. Special guest star tonight, my wife. So it's Two Dudes, One Review, One Chick. Tonight what? we are reviewing Gordon Ramsay's Shepherd's Pie from his brand new uh, microwave line. Uh, I just happened to find them. I was at Walmart and happened to find them in the freezer section. So I thought, why not? We'll try it. On the back of this, it has a little blurb that when it comes to Shepherd's Pie, I couldn't agree with more. I've lived in England and had Brit actual British Shepherd's Pie. Check it. A classic British dish filled with ground beef, vegetables, stewed in a rich tomato sauce, smothered with buttery mashed potatoes, topped with white cheddar cheese. So now um, we have microwaved it accordingly, and we're going to peel back the layer. I can say it smells divine. Let's have a, have a good look here at this. Behind the camera is the other dude, the content genius himself, Mr. Travis9001. Say hi. Hello. Travis, you'll recognize as the other dude from the other reviews. Okay, so um, I'm going to give it an initial bite and a what I consider to be a fair review of Gordon Ramsay's Shepherd's Pie. Are you going to mix it at all? Or? I'm ju just trying to get a little bite where it's I got It's going to be hotter in hell, too. So just FYI, be careful. So I just took it out of the microwave. Yeah, it'll be okay. Okay, mm, nice, a lot of cheese. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Is it pretty good? Wow! Color me impressed. See, one of the things I love about a shepherd's pie is the simplicity of the shepherd's pie. You should be able to pick out the different ingredients, and you don't often get that in a microwave dish. This is. Freaking phenomenal. I would eat this any time. What I do you mean, think, dear? I know it's microwave food, so I'm not anticipating like five stars, but... Yeah. It's actually pretty good. I My only thing is I do not like uh, instant potatoes. Who but really does? These don't taste bad. The, like, you can tell they've been really whipped really well. You can feel a good butter in there. Some um, instant potatoes, you can taste that aftertaste. And these aren't... I mean, they have a little bit of that, but not like some... Like the banquet meals or... What is that? Um, Michelinas or whatever. Who's Michelangelo's or some whatever. shit like that. Yeah. Any of the others. Like Stouffer's, the main... I can tell... Ones. This is a high quality meal with good ingredients put in that he's always talking about in his shows. Yeah, it tastes like I actually browned some hamburger up. Like it's mm -hmm. not like mystery meat, it's actual hamburger, like ground beef. And time for a word from the dude himself. And let's see what he's got to say about Gordon Ramsay Shepherd's Pie. You guys can try it, but that's going to be my supper. I'm going to eat it. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. No, it's I've, really good. I've already had a meal today, so um, I would. So I'm not gonna eat. And it's actually got <laughs> pretty good. It has decent sized chunks of hamburger in it too. There you go. You heard it himself from the man of so many words. It's pretty good. Yep. Nope. Okay, guys. Uh, signing off for this review. Thank you so much. If you found that informative, always please you know hit that thumbs up button. It's a thumbs up from this dude. Pretty good. Yeah. A thumbs good. up from Mr. Quiet. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time. What up, state of Kansas? All right. By popular demand, we are doing the Gordon Ramsay Chicken Pot Pie, a classic comfort dish of oven-roasted tender white meat chicken. Now, that is profiling, and that is wrong. Uh, with a medley of vegetables combined in a creamy gravy topped with flaky butter pastry. So far, the dishes, uh, it's not that they've been overwhelming with great. It's been kind of... Mediocre. Nah, I get it. It's microwave food. It's never going to be as good as if you go to a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. But I got to say, popped this bad boy out of the microwave a few minutes ago. It smells delicious. And... Uh, doesn't look half bad. You want to give it a shot? Very nice. Okay.
So, um, we're going to find out, does it get the uh, thumbs up or does it get the turd of mediocrity? We will, we will discover together. All right. You want to go first? Sure. All right, let's do this. I hear it's got a nice flakiness to it, mm -hmm. which is what you want in a pot pie. Time. I'm not this week. I carried two I, tables earlier today. Actually, <laughs> I'm not weak. Man, this is just kind of falling apart pretty quick. <laughs> well, let's see how it goes. Give it a shot. No, oh, I barely have any meat. We'll get some meat. Initial impression? I mean, it's alright. Okay, let's see. I shall give it a, a shot here. Alright. Bit hard to get and to get it going at first. Voila. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, let's give this a shot here. Am I still on camera? Yep. I mean, it's not bad. No. Yeah. It's not. It's just, it, it's just really hard to like get anything out of it. It's. It doesn't have much in the line of. It's mostly taste. Yeah, it get, and it gets all flaky and. It has a little on too on the flaky side. It's like you're eating a dust pot pie. Yeah, cut the hair. Like. I'm not. I'm not as weak. I should be able to cut this <laughs> pretty easily. And then once it's cooked in the new microwave, exactly what it said to cook for, cook it for on the box, so it wasn't overly cooked or anything like that. I mean, it's not bad, but <sighs> state of Kansas viewers, I'm gonna have to give this a thumbs down. Truth be told. Some of those banquet ones, the cheapy pot pies that you can get for a buck a pop, they have nicer, chunkier vegetables. Um, it's obviously the fish and chips ready. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, bigger chunks of meat. This just, it wasn't gross, but, or it wasn't bad, but I truly don't care if I ever have it again. Yeah, I mean, this would be good to finish off with ketchup, I guess, but that's really... I, well, then you'd actually have something to taste. This is kind of yeah. like, feels like something I'd get if I was in the hospital. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Ramsey, I'm always going to be a fan. I appreciate you and everything you do, but, uh... This officially gets this herd of mediocrity. Sorry, sir. Let's try the fish and chips next and see if that uh, can bounce back. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Two Dudes, One Review. Tonight, as you can see in my hand here, we are we are reviewing Chef Gordon Ramsay Slow Roasted Beef. Let's see what the description is. Slow Roasted Tender Cuts of Beef in a savory red wine sauce with smoked bacon, carrots, mushrooms, and pearl onions served with seasoned potatoes. I think they wrote that to give everybody a food boner. Give the viewers a quick little look. All right. Um, as I said pre in the previous review series on Gordon Ramsay food, it is microwave food. Do we expect it to be as good as it was in the restaurant? Of course not. Microwave food is generally quick, convenient, and easy. However, for six bucks, we're hoping this is a you know maybe a step above what you traditionally would get. So. This has just come out of the microwave, cooked for exactly what it said on the uh, box. Okay, so let's open her up. First off, smells quite nice. Let's give it a quick little stir. Stir it up. 
And... Don't take a spoonful yet. I'm not. I'm stirring, dude. Well, You're yeah. supposed to stir these things. Well, yes, I meant when you were done. Show it up to the camera. It looks quite appealing and smells good. It smells like a English pub food. I've eaten food in an English pub before. It smells exactly and uh, looks like what you'd expect. So, uh, younger one first. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, pretty good. Wow. The description is so riveting. I mean, you really got every detail in there on that one, didn't you? Yep. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, I want to get a piece of the... Uh, uh, yeah, okay, that's the meat. And that's the potato. Meat and potatoes. You can't get much more British than that. It's not more Irish there. I... It sure did. Wait, go on in the Scottish, so I got to sound like I'm Scottish. All right, enough fucking about. Let's try this out. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that one's damn good. Mm -hmm. um, I would eat this any time. Is it worth six bucks? I don't know, but I would definitely put this in the upper echelon of, um, you know, microwave food. Gordon Ramsay, roast beef. Um, Get thumbs up from me, Travis. Thumbs up. Yeah. So right now, so far, we've reviewed three Gordon Ramsay. Um, two have been winners. That risotto was an absolute stinker. Oh, and even the cat wants to get in on this. <laughs> Anyways... Um, Give it a shot. Honestly, not bad. Mm -hmm. um, that's uh, Two Dudes, One Review, signing off for the night. See you soon. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the state of Kansas for another Two Dudes, One Review. And we have our guest person. It's now Two Dudes, One Chick, One Review. Um, guys, tonight, I'm excited as about this. This is the one I'm excited the most about. Gordon Ramsay Risotto. A rich, creamy risotto with a hearty mix of portobello mushrooms, caramelized onions, tender boro rice, delicately combined with white wine, and finished with Parmesan cheese and chives. We have had the pleasure of actually having this in a Gordon Ramsay restaurant, and I gotta say, it was phenomenal. So, naturally, all of us are super excited to give this a shot. So, let's peel it back and see what we got. Let me cleanse my palate first. Not, not going to lie, it doesn't quite look like... It looks yeah. A little, it looks a little off-putting. It's a little mushy. But I, I'll take off-putting if it tastes good. Yeah. And if that made sense. I'll take yeah. the appearance if it, of this. If it tastes better than it looks. Yeah, the yeah. shepherd's pie looked amazing, and that was phenomenal. So, fingers but, crossed. Yeah, it's kind of mushy, but we shall see. And I'm not going to lie... You can smell, like, the white wine in it and the mushrooms. I can smell the mushrooms. I like the smell of mushrooms. It's not... The smell of mushrooms isn't for everyone, I'm but not, I'm a fan. I'm kind of nervous about trying it. Ladies first. Give it a shot. Oh, God. I'll wipe that. Okay. So, um, the missus is not a fan. <laughs> um, oh, God. I'm going to try it myself. That's nasty. And uh, I will say, I am kind of with you on the smell. Not really, really uh, feeling this. It's not good. It's fucking hideous. Yeah, that's. Wow. Total disappointment. Total 360 from the deliciousness that was the shepherd's pie. This is not good. Travis 9001. My content creator, content genius. Let's he'll, see what you got to say. He'll like it, though. He likes everything. <laughs> uh -huh. It's like, feed it to Mikey. Mikey will eat it. I don't know about that. Jesus. He's 21 now. I He's got a refined it. palate. It just tastes bland. 
Yeah. It's yeah. really yeah. bland. It's just very mushroomy, and there's not much else to it. Like there's barely there's barely any taste. Yeah, well, I can taste like the wine. Oh. Like, I, like, I could wine. smell the wine, but like in terms of taste, there's just nothing. I just, yeah, they got the shepherd's pie right. right like, this one, Mr. Ramsey, chef, I love you. I will always watch your shows, and I'm going to eat at your restaurants again. I'm sorry, sir. This one was a miss. It's a thumbs down from me. Yeah, I know. Well, and as much as he goes on about the risotto, like this is yeah. just like a pile of mush. I yeah. eat like, true that. How many asses has he chewed about risotto? Over the years on Hell's Kitchen, and I don't know who decided that risotto would be a good thing to microwave. Yeah, no, it does not microwave. <sighs> it's glue. Ah, uh, looks like you can patch a road with it's that. It's nasty. It has the consistency of really thick, gloopy um, oatmeal. It's just not good. No. I'm sorry to say. So it's going to be a strong three thumbs down from your friends at the state of yeah. Kansas. Two dudes, one review. Oh, sorry, two dudes, one chick, one review. Thanks yeah. for tuning in. And if you enjoyed it, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button.